Boo. In other words, we're spanking them. <laughs> Is there data on, are you more likely to win at home in playoffs? Uh, slightly, yeah. There's also data that the more you prepare for debates, the more likely it is that you'll win. So we should, uh, really? we should get going. I question that data. <laughs> One of the things to be aware of here, this is actually going to be the most crowded debate stage in history. And so uh, there are going to be a lot of folks scrambling to get attention at a moment when the, a number of campaigns are sort of at make or break. I think there will be a lot of talk about impeachment. You think that's going to be a dominating first? If yeah. you lead with impeachment, it's the biggest news story right now. And who's qualified for the next November debate? So seven of you are qualified for the November debate. It is Steyer, you. Steyer's for November already? Yep, he, he and you both qualified with the same poll today. Seven of you. That's uh, stunning to me. Will Yang qualify ultimately? I think he probably will, yes. O'Rourke? Uh, he is far away from the polling threshold right now. We've got to get a little bit more information about Steyer. He's the only wild card on the stage. Jenna, do you know what his online spend is? I think he spent something like 17 million. On online ads alone. Yeah. You've raised a little bit more than that this year. Yeah. <laughs> it's just stunning how this works. Yeah. Corey, on to debate prep, round four. You remember, these are going to be mostly 75 seconds, so you have a little bit more time. All right, give me a question. Let's go. All right, I'm Anderson Cooper. 